JAS 39E Grieb and arrived in Finland, for its flight evaluation as part of the HX Challenge, Finland's search, for its next fighter aircraft to augment, and slowly replace its fleet of FA-18C-D Hornets. Saab's offering, as some commentators have remarked, is the last Euro Canard to be evaluated in the HX program. It also comes bundled with the Global Eye Airborne Early Warning and Control AMP, C, aircraft, which Saab markets as a force multiplier for the Gripen. The complete systems, maintenance, and aircraft package that the Saab is selling has many potential bonuses, for its potential selection as the HX aircraft, since Finland is looking for substantial domestic repair capability, and possible technology transfer. If more systems are sold, it could mean more technology is transferred, leading to further potential development of Finnish industry. Despite the requirement in the HX program, Finnish industry seems pretty lukewarm to the idea, of producing Gripen parts domestically. However, Saab has pushed the idea pretty hard, stating that some Patria plants could even produce, and overhaul engines domestically. Another interesting aspect of the Gripen offer is, the inclusion of dedicated electronic warfare pods in addition to the Gripen's already supposedly formidable onboard jamming capabilities. This, in Saab's words, is probably the most advanced EU sweep carried by a fighter, which would make the Gripen a considerable asset for suppression or destruction of enemy air defense, seed slash dead, missions. However, Boeing is including a dedicated and proven electronic warfare aircraft, the EA-18G Growler in its HX program bid, so the JAS-39, while possibly formidable is outclassed in that aspect. Unfortunately for Saab, the Gripen didn't actually fly in proper verification flights, though the Global Eye aircraft were able to, in its time in Finland, leading to snarky media commentary that the Gripen couldn't fly in the snow. This is, of course, not true. There were standard weather conditions for flights, and the snowy conditions did not fit them, so the plane did not fly. Two more planes remain to be evaluated for the HX Challenge, Lockheed Martin's F-35A and Boeing's F-A-18E-F Super Hornet. The F-35A's evaluation period is in mid-February. Both have their unique share of advantages and disadvantages, the Super Hornet will likely be an easy transition for the Finnish Air Force, which already operated legacy Hornets. But the F-35A has the advantage of low observability, advanced data link systems and its onboard opto electronic packages. The F-35A is rumored to be favored as it's truly a next-generation aircraft and has a growing European user community, especially following the Polish purchase.